fly on the wall. Um, I'm joined with some amazing people uh, today. Um, today we're talking about uh, food for the soul, purpose and vision, right? Talking about the importance of vision, the importance of purpose, and how these things feed our soul. But of course, I thought it was an amazing um, task to to employ, you know, and have some amazing people from Pure Soul uh, Vegan Restaurant here today, and um, to to sponsor this episode. They're an amazing restaurant in Durham, North Carolina, and uh, we're going to get to that. I have Nick here with me, and uh, Sam. Introduce yourself, and then we'll get to Nick and, and let us kind of talk about the vision behind Pure Soul and how that ties into Black Fly on the Wall. Uh, Sam Archer, co-host of Black Fly on the Wall. Been doing it for a couple of years now. Happy to be here. OG. Definitely. Cool. Uh, my name is Pooley. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, I'm Jeremy. I'm from Warrington, North Carolina. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Looking forward to it. I'm feeling good, so I appreciate right. the opportunity, man. Right. And then the man, the man of the hour. Yeah. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Most Thanks most for having us. Nick, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Nick Spaulding. I'm co-owner of Pure Soul in Durham, North Carolina. Um, and excited to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, excited right. to have you. Yeah, yeah. So, of course. Yeah. Nick, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for being thank here. Thank you. Um, Nick, tell us a little bit about the vision behind Pure Soul. And I just say, just want to commend you, like, the food is amazing. The culture is Thank amazing. You. Um, sure. Everything that you all, you all's mission, um, I think you all have really, really blossomed and planted yourself as a positive seed in Durham Thank and you. in North Carolina, too. Sure. And so I just wanted to hear and let you talk to the people about, you know, the purpose and the vision behind Pure Soul. Um, the vision of Pure Soul is um, it's pretty much like a, what I would call like a transitional vegan um, culinary experience. Um, um, so you get like you get your, your shrimps and you get your barbecue and your um, macaroni and cheese and everything that should have you know dairy and, and meat in it, but we, we alter it so it just it's all plant based, all nice. plant based. And we we actually moved to the spot um, during COVID, which was very scary. But banking off of that issue of people kind of changing their dietary and, and building their immune system up and stuff like that. So and this is like a transition into plant based living. Nice. I think I think especially during COVID, you know, being mindful what we put in our bodies and who we're around was critical to everybody. Yeah, you know, I think absolutely. everybody became a lot more had a lot more insight into health and wellness. You know, because it it became it was no longer like a leisure thing to be healthy and be, to be yeah. healthy, but it was like a something that was needed in desperation to survive yeah. and to yeah. live. I think you know we all know somebody that knows somebody or knows somebody that passed away from COVID. Yeah. And I think um, I think what you all are doing is really you know, shedding light on the benefits of being plant based, mm -hmm. you know, within our community and especially with our community being having some of the highest statistics in blood pressure and diabetes and, and all those type of things. I think what you all are doing is really, you know, setting the tone and setting the pace for allowing us to continue to be a part of our culture, the cultural foods that we love to eat, but be able to eat them in a more healthier way. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so That's I think uh, cheers to you all thank and you what so you're much. doing. And thank you. Thank you for the partnership um, with Pure Soul, and I think it's going to be a definitely a, a lasting one um, in the future for it. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right, let's get into it, fellas. <laughs> All right, so we bought some sampler right. plates here, and um, we got cornbread. Um, um, it's a big hit at the uh, restaurant. Um, we got Soul Bowl, which is uh, called a whole food. Uh, it's like no mock meat or anything like that in it, so it's just pure soul food. I mean, with collard uh, greens, uh, black eyed peas. You got, uh, Kale in it, um, okay. black eyed peas, carrots, peppers, onion, um, garlic comes with um, over bed of rice. Um, normally at the restaurant uh, with cornbread and avocado. Um, we got Bilbo greens right here. Bilbo's my dad. This is his recipe. Um, a lot of the recipes are after family members. Like we got, nice. Um, I like that. Aunt um, Rose's mm. pie. This is her pie mm. recipe that we all well, sweet potato pie. That, that I made, made vegan. And um, we got shrimp over here. They had the konjac root. Same consistency like shrimp. That same spongy nice. consistency, but um, with fry on it. The season and stuff like that, you know. That's just our thing. Just make most of the menu like your, your favorite soul food dishes and just make them vegan. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are you know, family recipes that we just kind of. And you said you've been you've been vegan twenty years, twenty four years, yeah. twenty four years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and my my question, yeah. my question, my question <laughs> would probably be, um, like I think most of the time in our community, especially when you hear vegan, mm -hmm. and you hear all of those mm -hmm. those trigger words, you think of vegan is a trigger word. You yeah. think you have to eat food that don't look like anything that we've yeah, grown yeah. up eating. So yeah. why you think why was it important to you to still to be vegan and still have the same uh feel towards our food that you know we've had growing up? I mean that's just what I grew up eating. I mean I grew up hunting. 
I grew up, um, you know, cooking meat and all that. But when I changed my diet, I said, damn, I still miss, I still yeah, miss yeah, fish. Yeah, right, right. I still yeah, miss shrimp. Sure. I still miss an I, sure. I can make it without the cholesterol and everything else in it. And, and um, I was telling someone earlier that, you know, my parents and, and family thought I was crazy 20 plus years ago when I yeah. went vegan. But now, as they get older, their doctors are telling them, you know, you need to alter your diet. You got to mm-hmm. incorporate more veggies yep. and stuff. So yeah. they're looking at me like, hey, well, how can I help myself out? You mm-hmm. know? So right. I think you explained it like perfectly. You said transitional cuisine because I'm, I'm not personally vegan, mm-hmm. but this is food that I really enjoy exactly. eating. Yeah, you know, sure. and like if you are making that transition into vegan, it's something that you could say, right, I'm still getting that exactly mm-hmm. right. that hardiness sure. of the foods I like. So we call it perfect. like plant based comfort. So it's mm, not like yeah. eating granola balls. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. It's, actually things, it's actually things that you enjoy and things that are nourishing to you as well. Yeah. And so I think that that's essential to 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 overall growth and like and I think Pure Soul is serves as the mission that aligns itself with with uh Black Flow on the Wall. Black Flow on the Wall provides black people with a safe space to communicate. Mm-hmm. And I think you all are providing people with a safe space to be able to divulge and things that they always wanted to try, you know, plant based yeah. foods and yeah. Especially for today's episode, you know, purpose and vision, food mm-hmm. for the soul. You all are providing food for the soul with that, and you know, we're providing food for the soul with our with our content. And mm-hmm. you know, and Poovy actually has a a, a a mission and that he rocks with too that we're going to tap into about food for the soul as well. So it's all it's all a triple entendre mm-hmm. of, of bringing everything Perfect. back to to to, to full force. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for having on. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Really, my stomach appreciates you. Man. <laughs> 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 All right, fellas. Yeah. So, yeah. getting.